in the previous video we learned about the advantages of hibernate but now in this video let's learn about a even more important topic and interview question disadvantages of hibernate the biggest disadvantage of using hibernate is the n plus one problem so suppose we have a user table which has columns like id first name and last name and we have an address table which has columns like id address details and the user id for which this address belongs so obviously there will be a foreign key from the user id to the id of the user table and we have created our jp entities for user and address so it has all the properties and apart from that it has a many to one relation in the address entity for the user so there can be many addresses belonging to a particular user which is pointed by the many to one annotation in the address entity class now suppose we want to select a particular address first hibernate will run a query for the address table and then it will start running n additional queries for the user table because of the many to one annotation present so we wanted to select one record so there should have been one query but hibernate here is executing n additional queries so this is you know the n plus one problem which is very commonly talked about in hibernate where instead of running one query there are n additional queries run so another disadvantage is that it is slower than pure zdbc in terms of performance as we have seen before it is because the number of queries generated is generally quite higher as compared to writing queries in pure JDBC. Since Hibernate is our ORM engine generating SQL queries for us, in some cases it is not possible to fine tune the queries which we could have done if we were doing it ourselves. So another disadvantage is that Hibernate doesn't allow multiple inserts. Suppose you want to insert multiple records using a single query. This is not supported by Hibernate. You have to write multiple queries for inserting multiple records. So this is another disadvantage that is there with Hibernate. Another disadvantage is that the learning curve for Hibernate is quite high. Suppose you are a developer and you want to learn and start using Hibernate. It is quite difficult to learn all the intricacies involved and the complexities involved and generally takes some of, some of the time to get used to to get started and working in hibernate so friends in the previous video we learned about the advantages and in this video we have learned about the disadvantages and now based on various factors it is up to us to make an informed decision whether to use or not use hibernate depending upon requirements of our project so once again friend we hope that you would have liked this video if you did don't forget to give it the thumbs up thanks a lot for watching this video and do subscribe to our channel for more such updates and also press the bell icon for latest notifications